There are idiots making millions who failed in school, dropped out, and have an IQ lower than the average person. This is because today, being smart isn't the reason people are making money anymore. It's because they're doing the things that were never taught to them in school. Get out of here, bro. What? Let me continue. Yeah, just, just get whatever, out. bro. So lucky for all of you, I went deep into research and found that there's five things these people do to get ahead in the business world. Starting off with what I like to call being blindly smart. Yes, that sounds insane, but let me explain. Okay, I'm gonna try and do five kick-ups in a row. Notice how I tried and failed multiple times before I got it right, whilst that guy is still trying to perfect it for the first time before he even starts. So the reason I just turned into Messi for a second was to show you guys that the people you see in the Ferraris and the Lambos around you are the ones who just tried multiple times and failed until they got it right. A lot of people's issue before they start is trying to be a perfectionist, when in reality that's such a flawed way of thinking because you have to get the reps in regardless, you're gonna make the mistakes even if you think you're perfect. So why not just go and make them quicker than trying to be so perfect before you even start? I personally had this issue when I started. Before I would post any of my videos, I'd make sure that they were perfect. I'd go back and forth with my friends stressing out because I didn't want to put up anything that was bad. But whilst I was doing that, I'd see competitors just throwing up videos left, right, and center, and some of them would pop, some of them wouldn't, but they'd learn much quicker than me. See, by the time you've thought about that one perfect idea, they've tried 15, failed at 10, did okay at three and you're still stuck at zero everybody starts at zero so if you fail you're technically better off than you were before because at least you learned something an l is not a loss it's just a lesson that is so cringe so what you need to take from this first point is that you just need to start even if it's not going to be good the second point i want to talk about which low-key leads in from the first is the fact that the reason these people will take so many shots and miss so many chances is because they don't care what other people think about them you're worried about what your friends or family are going to think about you if you put out things on the internet or if you're trying a new business but in reality that doesn't matter even when you're at the point in your life where you're making millions there's still going to be that same energy around elon musk literally started a space company with the last money he had when everyone in his year was telling him he was stupid for it and look where that man is now he's one of the richest people in the world and that's all thanks to the fact that he didn't listen to what other people said and he completely cut all the noise out this is probably a little dramatic but i need to get my point across to you guys all these loud external noises and things that you hear from the people at your school trying to tell you that what you're doing is stupid is all in hopes that you don't succeed with what you're trying to do do you want to be the guy who's making 20 to 30k a month with all these people being jealous of you or do you want to be the person who's made zero dollars but is friends with everyone and doesn't have a problem i think if you're watching this video we both know the answer to that question so just lock in cut out all the external noise that comes in every single day including your parents sometimes i can't lie and focus on what you want to achieve because i went from like a regular 12 year old kid to making six figures in a month at 15 why can't you do the same the third point i'm gonna move into here is a bit controversial but it's the fact that laziness has a helping hand sometimes in being successful let me explain when people aren't as motivated to work and don't want to put in as many hours they're more inclined to try to find people to do the job for them and there's some quotes from some billionaires that said if you want the job done quick get someone who's lazy to do it and that's because these guys are really good at hiring out these roles and making sure that things are done for them without them having to work for it now that doesn't mean that you should be a lazy piece of sh and not get to work and try to hire out everything for you but i am saying this because people in bigger positions are really good at delegating tasks or put more simply giving things for people to do that they don't have to do it themselves this is a trait every single person watching this video should learn because if you really want to get to making hundreds of thousands a year or even a month you need to learn how to not do all the work yourself or else how are you going to be able to handle a big company if you're at the top or the king of your business you want to only have to focus on the important tasks that will take you from 1 to 10 instead of doing these little grunt work jobs that are really hireable. And that's why I preach the business model of like YouTube and social media in general because these are models that eventually when you scale, you can easily hire out for and only focus on the high level things. And all of this quote unquote laziness comes from a fact of these people wanting their money to work for them and not wanting themselves to have to really work for their money. So when you start out, please do work hard and do take time to do the little chores that aren't really fun, but 
but as you get bigger you need to understand the skill of hiring out teams to do things for you and making the money flow whilst you're asleep now as we're getting to the end of this list these points are starting to become a lot more important so please listen up the fourth thing i've learned about these guys is their ability to break down complex concepts into really straightforward things now daniel why the f is that important that's because the problem most of you face without realizing it is trying to find out the hidden secrets and the secret sauce to these business models instead of just simplifying it for what it is let's take youtube for example most of you watching this think that there's a secret sauce to going viral on youtube that only mr beast knows when in reality all youtube really is is telling a good story for a long period of time about a topic that a lot of people care about that is the most top line brief explanation i could give but it's just an example to show you guys that even when i make my own videos i don't complicate it too much i just sit here talk about things that you guys find interesting in a way that will entertain you there is no hidden book with crazy secrets in it locked in a cupboard in indonesia it's just about figuring it out as you go so whatever model you're working on now if for the past few weeks or months you've been looking for hidden secrets to try to get ahead of everyone else stop you can get 99 percent of the info on the internet go on there and just start learning and doing and now for the last and most important point of the video listen up everything i've talked about thus far is for you to make money print money and be ahead of the competition but what no one realizes is after they've started to make that money they can't keep it they spend all of it and they go back to completely zero so if you're applying anything you learned in this video and you're starting to print money you only accomplished half the battle it's now time to keep it and i've made my fair share of dollar bills nothing crazy but from what i can say i'm pretty good at keeping it i haven't really gone out on a baller phase and bought an iced out roller yet some things that all of you should do with the money you're making now is invest in stocks early bro that sounds so cliche but it's true just set aside money that you don't even want to think about into stocks whatever you think is going to do best and has a track record of doing pretty good year over year and keep that money there and don't touch it for as long as you can that's just going to stack up without you even knowing and be your safety net in case anything happens or if you want to go and buy a house down the line another form of investing that isn't really talked about too much is putting back into your business a lot of people don't really think of that as an investment method it's more so the fact of just putting back money into my company but it really is set aside money every single month to just think of ways to attack your business even more like spending more on marketing hiring more people out and just improving the quality of your business that is going to give you returns way more than any stock or dividend could in your life because you're investing in yourself so take what i'm saying and actually apply it don't just listen to this video and then click off and if you guys enjoyed this video don't just subscribe i just launched a newsletter that you can join in the description where instead of sending you these boring five to ten paragraph emails i'm gonna give you guys one video a week of what i've done who i've met how much money i've made and the new companies i'm starting i'm even gonna talk about the bad things that are going on with my businesses another super cool thing i'm gonna do is answer your guys's questions so there's gonna be a forum where you guys can ask anything you want and in those videos every week i'm just gonna answer them i'm confident that you guys are gonna enjoy these weekly videos a ton and get so much value from them so go down into the description and go join in but i will see you guys all when i see you